Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about Killers and this movie came out in 2010 and stars Ashton Kutcher and uh, I've never seen this movie before in its entirety. I think I've seen parts of it before but never the full thing. It's like one of those uh, where I like, saw some of it but never the entirety of it and watching the film in its entirety I did not care for it and this movie's biggest problem is uh, everything that it's trying to tackle. It's trying to be an action movie. It's trying to be a romance movie. It's trying to be kind of a comedy at points. And none of those things work for me. The action, there's a lot of quick cutting and you can't make out what's going on. And there's some shaky cam that I can't get behind. I don't like any of the characters and therefore why should I care? And I don't find them interesting either. The romance, I don't buy it all. I didn't feel as though there was any chemistry between our two main leads. And the comedy, like, I didn't find funny. Like, there wasn't one joke in the entire film that I found to be funny. And the entire film was just really, really boring to sit through. And the plot, it doesn't even start to get interesting until, like, halfway through the movie. And there's basically no surprises throughout the entire film. And in terms of violence in this movie, there's nothing about it that's like satisfying or fun because it's PG-13 and there's not too much you can do. I also did not buy Ashton Kutcher in this movie. I just uh, didn't believe him to be like a spy. And the entire film, he's either supposed to be a really cool spy who's good at everything he does or he's just supposed to be like a really charming guy who falls in love with this one girl and he just doesn't work as either of them and and it's also partially how the character is written as well and it just feels very inconsistent as to like what a character like that would do in in any given situation and there are points where he kind of feels like a novice, like he doesn't really know what he's doing, and it's pretty distracting for me. I also didn't feel as though this movie was very well paced at all. It just felt very slow, and nothing about it really worked. The music didn't work for me, and it was just a dated film that didn't offer much for me at all, and... I unfortunately cannot recommend that you check it out and there isn't really much to say about it and the only other thing that I really could talk about would be like the last reveal of the movie which was so predictable for me I don't even know why they did that and it was pretty stupid and uh, the movie was never funny it was never romantic it was never a satisfying action movie and it it just fails it in every way possible. So skip this movie if you ever come across it. And with all that being said, I'm going to give Killers a 4 out of 10. I know that might seem a little high for a movie that I had like no positives for. But I have seen worse movies that are like a lot more painful to sit through. And there's worse out there. So that's basically why this movie doesn't make it as like one of my least favorite movies ever it's it's not really offensive to me it's just bland and boring so that's why it's like a four out of ten for me thank you for watching my videos as always if you enjoyed this review be sure to leave a like and comment down below you thought of killers and my social media links they will all be in the description so follow me there and last but not least subscribe to be a part of fully nation and i'll see you when i get my next review up and that is going to be for ghost in the shell so look forward to that but until i get that up Thank you for watching and have a great day.